Waiting. The action of staying where one is. Delaying action. Expecting something to happen until one day it does. Advent is a time of waiting, of hope, of anticipation. But what really is Advent? To understand the meaning of Advent as we look forward to the celebration of Jesus' birth at Christmas, we sat down with Sister Juanita Berkeley to take a deeper look into the season. Thank you, Sister, for joining us today, for taking time out today. We're happy to have you. It's good to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Let's jump right into it. What is Advent? Advent is a very beautiful season. Many people look at it um, as confusing because the color is purple and they think Advent, they think Lent. Mm -hmm. But Advent is really a period of reflection, mm -hmm. a period of waiting. And it is important because it prevents us from just jumping into Christmas mm -hmm. for the sake of the material, opening of gifts, putting up trees, etc. So it is preparation for a very beautiful, significant and all important event, the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Okay. What are some of the things that I could look for during in church and during the Mass that will let me know that we are into the season of Advent? Well, when we attend Mass during that time, it's really different to the normal liturgical year. Mm -hmm. We have, first of all, something hitting us as soon as we enter the church, the color change. Yes. So there is a purple, <clears throat> which is a little different to the purple in Lent. Okay. Right? Similar, but different, because it has a different symbolism. It's like the dawn. The, the dawn before the rising sun. Okay. There is a kind of cool purple mm -hmm. that is used. Okay. And that purple is symbolic of the dawn before the rising sun. Okay. Okay. And when we enter the church, anywhere we look, we should be able to see not green, not red, purple. not white, but purple, mm -hmm. and it is very significant. That's the first thing that hits us. The vestments or the garments worn by the priests mm -hmm. are purple as well, okay? And that is for three of the Sundays. On the third Sunday, which is the Sunday of Joy, mm -hmm. um, that Sunday, Gaudete Sunday, is the Sunday where we wear beautiful rose pink, similar to your blouse, mm -hmm. okay? Which is the hope growing a little more before we actually celebrate the, the rise of Jesus. The rising of yes, the sun. The rising of the sun, that's mm -hmm. it. So the color begins to change at that point, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then you have the gold white of Christmas um, coming up. But that purple is what is the main symbol when you enter the church. Mm -hmm. And we have, as we see in the backdrop here, in all our churches, we have the Advent candle. Mm -hmm. And even before, we delve into the celebration, the sacrifice of the Mass. There is a lighting of the Paschal candle. Mm -hmm. So each week is symbolic. So in the first week, you have the lighting of the first candle. The second week, the lighting of the second candle. And third week, the lighting of the third or the rose-colored candle. And you have the fourth week. In many churches, in many homes that have the Paschal, the um, Advent candle, we would have a middle candle, which is a white, mm -hmm. symbolizing the actual birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. And some reeds don't have it. But either way, the symbolism is there in the purple candles mm -hmm. and the one rose colored candle. So that lighting is very different to the ordinary mass, just starting and going on with the liturgy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, children usually like it because they wonder, you know, why are we lighting those candles? What are they for? In some places, too, an explanation is given before the Mass no. as to the symbolism mm -hmm. of the candle um, and why we light it. Mm -hmm. So it puts everyone in a mood, in a tone, which says something different is happening. In a different We're entering, season. yes, okay. a new season. Okay. okay, so those are some of the things we can look for. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what is the exact significance of the wreath and candles? Okay, now with the Advent wreath, mm -hmm. It is, we see the green, a symbol of life and hope. And each week, each candle has a symbol. For example, you would see it written here, which makes it easy for mm -hmm. someone who is not clear on what it is for. So this is helpful. But the first candle is called the candle of hope. Mm -hmm. So we are looking forward 
to the shining of that bright light mm -hmm. in our darkness, okay. that hope, that rising of the sun. The second candle is the candle of love, lit during the second week of Advent, okay? Um, the third candle is the candle of joy, and the fourth candle is the candle of peace. peace. And in lighting each one, there is a sense that that theme is running through the week, okay? And in thinking of it, the readings as well lend themselves to the themes of the week. Mm -hmm. So you get a sense of the light shining in the darkness, waiting for it to come. You get the sense of John the Baptist asking us to prepare your hearts. Prepare mm -hmm. Jesus is coming. And the symbol here is prepare your hearts for the celebration of his birth. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. don't just jump into it like that, mm -hmm. right? Spiritually as well as physically, physically. all around us. Okay. You say that Advent is preparing for Christmas, but yes. it's not only about preparing for Christmas, is it? It's also preparing for Christ's second coming. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It certainly is. And as Christians, that is the beautiful um, belief and the hope that we have and we hold dear to our heart, that not only do we celebrate his incarnation mm -hmm. into our world coming to be with us, to be one of us, not um, disdaining or not looking down on our human nature, mm -hmm. which he himself created. But coming down, Christ becoming flesh, incarnation, Emmanuel, God with us. We look also to the time when he comes back as the king, mm -hmm. right? King of the world, king of our hearts. He's coming back the second time. So we have those two comings to celebrate and to look forward to. Mm -hmm. And may he find us ready and full of faith when he comes the second time. Mm -hmm. We live in a very fast paced world now. Most mm -hmm. people don't like waiting, whether we stand in line, we're in traffic, we by the doctor or something. So why does the church have us waiting in the spirit of Advent? Mm -hmm. I love how you put that. Why does the church have us waiting, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's a very good question, and when I reflect on it, I do ask myself, too, as a religious, why does the church, in its wisdom, have us waiting? Why not just celebrate the wonderful birth? We follow the example of our Blessed Mother Mary. In her beautiful message from the angel, who said, you will conceive and bear a son. It could have happened the same day, it could have happened the same time. She could have immediately been the mother of Jesus Christ right there. It could have just happened like that. Nothing is impossible with God. Mm -hmm. But in his own wisdom, in sending the angel to Mary, in making the proclamation, there was dialogue. Mm -hmm. And Mary reflected, she pondered it in her heart. Mm -hmm. And when she did conceive, it was a long, drawn out, journey. Mm -hmm. And during that time, she would have meditated, she would have reflected, mm -hmm. she would have gone to help her cousin Elizabeth. And even then, she brought her Jesus, not in the flesh, mm -hmm. but present in the womb mm -hmm. as a living tabernacle. And so we follow that example. As church, we follow the mother of Christ, right? Mm -hmm. That period of reflection, of waiting, before the wonderful moment. Okay. And that is the wisdom. In waiting, we grow. Mm -hmm. In thinking and reflecting, we learn. Mm -hmm. We stop, we look in our hearts. We see and we think, what is it going to do for us? Yeah. How is it going to help us? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else that you'd like to let us know about the season of Advent? Um, well, it's just a few words I'd like to say in ending. Yes. I wanted to share from my own experience that I've always found Advent to be a beautiful season, mm -hmm. a beautiful um, period of reflection going within oneself. Mm -hmm. And if we truly as Christians go through that season, it makes a difference in how we celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it is really more meaningful. And sometimes I think when I enter a store and I hear Christmas carols from September, Yes, it adds to the atmosphere of Christmas, mm -hmm. but for me, it is empty in the sense that something is missing. Mm -hmm. um, there's a jump there that we have not actually gone into the correct preparation mm -hmm. for 
celebrating something so beautiful. As we Christians wait for the light of Christmas and the four Advent candles are lit with each week's passing, we prepare for the coming of Jesus. But we know that our hoping and waiting doesn't stop at Christmas because he is coming back on the last day, a second Advent. So, as we wait, let us continue to hope and pray for our Savior to come again and that we will have prepared and will be ready to welcome him.